Hi, I'm Alan Cylinder. And I'm his daughter, Chelsea Cylinder. We're Cylinder Cylinder. And today we're here to talk about a surprisingly entertaining new boxing film called Hands of Stone. This movie is about prize fighter Roberto Duran and stars Robert De Niro as his trainer, Ray Arcel, and Edgar Ramirez, a terrific performance, as Duran. Yeah, I agree with you. I thought that this was a pretty entertaining movie from start to finish, but I thought that it did have some problems. I thought to start, I thought the performances were really good. You just touched on this, but Edgar Ramirez gave a really good performance as Roberto Duran. And one of the things that I really liked about his performance was that he didn't portray the character as someone who's really likable at all times. Like, you want to really take to this character, but he, like, stops you from doing that he at does. times, and I, I like that, and it was pretty realistic. And Robert De Niro is really good. I always enjoy watching Robert De Niro, but I thought he actually gave a very good performance. Yeah, this so, is the kind of performance that at first I thought was going to be, like, a performance where Robert De Niro just basically phones in, but it isn't. Mm -hmm. It's actually one of his better later performances that I've seen recently. And, uh... Some people are some people are referring to some people are referring to this movie as Aging Bull, since it has Robert De Niro <laughs> now playing the trainer instead of the fighter himself. Uh kind of like what Stallone did with uh Creed this past year. Um, yeah, one one performance though that I didn't really love was Usher. Can <laughs> can someone explain to me why Usher is in this film? I, I didn't <laughs> know. I, you know, Usher plays Sugar Ray Leonard in the film. And I didn't know that until I saw the movie, and when the character of Sugar Ray Leonard came on, I said, boy, this looks like Usher. Like, he but, really resembles Usher. But why? And like, it, it is Usher. It's Usher, and it <laughs> kind of distracted me for a lot of the movie because it was Usher. And I thought that like some of the scenes I just like I I just did not like, and he got a little bit better as it went on. Maybe I just got used to him. I don't know, but like why? I'm not sure. So I thought he was. I, I thought he was fine actually. <laughs> he was okay. okay. And and I really like the uh, uh, female lead in the movie who plays uh, Duran's wife, Ana de Armas. And she's been getting a lot of work recently. I just saw her last week, actually, in <laughs> War Dogs. Uh, she plays Miles Teller's wife or girlfriend, whatever she is in that movie. And she's good in that. But she's really good in this. I would agree with that. Um, so one thing that I also didn't love about this movie, which you kind of, you said you didn't really have a problem with this, but I thought that the film kind of has this messy structure where for a while it'll focus on Roberto Duran and then it'll focus on Sugar Ray Leonard or somebody else. And I I didn't really love that because, in my opinion, the film is supposed to really center on Roberto Duran. Even if you don't like him at all times, it's really supposed to just focus on him and his trainer and how the two have impacted each other and the character arcs, and I just didn't really like how that was broken up. I do like the fact that Sugar Ray Leonard is a character and that we can kind of see, like, a humanized side of him instead of just being the enemy of Roberto Duran, but I just thought it was a little bit too much and a little too all over the place. Has some nice background stuff about Panama in the movie also. Yeah, I, I did like that. that and, I liked. and yes, I did like the movie's messy structure. Instead of a slick movie, it actually feels like a real movie. It actually feels like there's people here making this movie. And uh, I don't know. I just I, It was a much better movie than I expected it to be. It starts off very bland for maybe the first 20 minutes or so. And I thought, oh, this is just going to be very, very routine, oh, like I a TV know. movie. But I, I didn't feel that way at all by the time the film was over. I liked the beginning. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I generally like the movie. I'd give this movie three cylinders. I think I would give it three cylinders as well. Hands of Stone. This is Alan Cylinder. And Chelsea Cylinder. Saying see you with the movies. Bye.